Well, good morning, folks. Today we're going to show you how we can repair the blind um, uh, surround where the cables, uh, you can just see it's a bit like fishing line, has come away from the rest of the unit. Uh, while it doesn't prevent you from opening or closing your blind, the blind won't stay up because there's no tension up against it. The only other way to do it and hold the tension is to lock the two together and now the blind will stay up but it makes it awfully difficult when you have that um, blind separated and the bottom one is, is just going down all by it's a little lonesome like that. So we're going to try and repair that and I'm going to show you how to do it. Well the first thing to do here is to remove all of the screws that are around these points, around the whole perimeter, as you can see, they're all around the perimeter and, and they are capped off with a rubber cap. And all we do with the rubber cap, we get a little fine point flat blade screwdriver, put it into the corner there and just, just flip them out. Just gently, just get behind them, take them out as best you can and just pull them out like that. And as you can see, that one's already come out like that. You just take them out. That exposes the Phillips head screwdriver that's behind them. So all we do now is just take all of the Phillips head screws out and that will take the surround off the unit. We'll go ahead and do that now and show you exactly how it looks like inside. Well, now that we have all the screws out from around our perimeter of our uh, external blind, all you need to do now is just simply grab the corner and gently pull it away from the unit and take it off. It should just come straight off. And we just lay it flat like that and we'll take it to the repair bench and see what we can do with it. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is to take this side rail off, the side rail of the screen. And what we do is we just remove the screws that are held in place here. We just take all of the screws out and you, once you've got those screws out, just simply rotate it a little bit. Just give it a little wiggle, rotate it a little bit, come it out and just put it aside. This will expose all of the mechanism that's here. And you can see from this um, perspective that you've got the strand, the black strand is for the screen, the black fly screen. And below that, we've got the, the um, let me just see me moving it there. You've got the, uh, the fishing line for the for the uh, main other screen. That fishing line goes all the way to the top and hooks on to another connection point there. But on this end, it goes all the way in here and through this channel and up and around. So we'll have to uh, see how we can adjust that and uh, get a new strand in there. Okay, so now we've got the screen on the bench. Um, what you need to do is to restrand the cable, the wire, uh, which is really a fishing line, um, back through the thing, through the uh, through the screen here, and in. Now, what we've done for that is we've chosen to purchase from BCF 80 um, pound um, trace line which is a little bit stronger than what's there now, but you can't have it much stronger because otherwise it won't flex. So what we've done with that is we've fed, we we'll forget about this point right now, but the focus is to, on this edge here, if you just lift it over a little bit off the edge, because we've taken the trims off the sides, remember? And so you can see a little hole in there. And what we've done then is we've fed this line, a bit hard to see with this line, We've fed this line into the hole and gone in this direction to go over here through this little clip and up. Now, the way to do that is to remove this little clip. There's a screw right on the end of the clip. If I can get you to see that. There's a screw just in there. You can see it's a Phillips head screw. Just take that screw out. It will allow you to remove this little plastic thing by just pushing it that way and it'll release it. Um, the reason we've chosen to go in this direction is because over on this side we have two of the the black cables for the black screen 
but there are two cables, two fishing line strands. You can see a bit hard to see here, but just, just to account that there's two here. And the way this system works is it goes from the top left corner down through this screen over to this end. So from the top down through here, through to this and down to there, to this point. And then the other one goes across and up and in there. And then the similar thing happens over here. So it goes down from here through the channel to this point and down to here. And then back through the second one goes up there. So that'll give you a constant rate of change of each of the screens. So what we've now done is we've successfully put the new strand this new strand in through here and we're now ready to connect it to the top end and all you need to do is now feed it through each one of the little holes in the screen all the way down to this screw and then we'll just get rid of this old tag and wrap it around the screw and then we'll go back to the top end in this corner over here and tie that off tighten it up that way we'll have a new new uh, new strand screen we're going to go ahead and do that now and we'll show the finished product in a minute so now that we've got the fishing line stranded back through this channel, I've turned the whole thing 180 degrees so we get access to this front corner where we've got to resecure it. So we've resecured it up on this corner there, run it through this blind, bit challenging, through this channel and back around to this corner where you can see there's two screws, this one here and this one here. This one, so if you wrap the cable around the post in a clockwise direction a clockwise direction like that as you tighten this screw it will tighten this cable and this is these are the this is the tensioning post so here is the cable the um the fishing line cable here you can see it just there two strands of it one two and we're going to go around this post once tighten it up then go around this post tighten it up and then we feed the cable through from here around this post once like that tighten it up around this post here like that tighten it up then we feed it through this little channel here and put the excess down the bottom here don't cut it off at this screw leave yourself a little bit of a tag maybe 50 60 millimeters of tag so that if you need to retension this cable then you're in a better position to do that because it'll give you something to hang on to. With that done, now we can turn the screen back around and refit our side trims, these side trims here, back onto these rails. We'll do a bit of a clean up while we're here and then we'll go back to the caravan and clean up around the window frame before we reinstall this whole lot. This caravan's done a fair bit of off-road work uh, going around Australia and um, it's been shaked, rattled and rolled all over the place. Well, not literally rolled, but certainly it's been through some fairly significant dirt roads. And uh, one of the things that's worth doing is to clean, once you've got this screen off, and we we're going to replace it shortly, is to give a good clean around here. And when we looked around this section, we realised that these window devices are loose as anything and they shouldn't be there like that at all they've been rattled loose so you just simply unscrew them and I'm afraid we've got a fair bit of rain happening at the moment so it's a bit noisy unscrew them and and put them in the vertical position like that just like the other ones they're holding the frame in so we've gone vertical like that vertical like this and screw them back up again keep them tight, do the same for any of the other ones that are loose and it's worth uh, then having said that what we discovered uh, as we drove around Australia because of these rough roads that uh, it's really worth checking every single screw in every single spot around your caravan um, and uh, make sure they're nice and tight before you fit it so just get a shifter make the shifter fit the screw and just give it a bit of a tighten not too much 
not too much just enough to bring the tension back onto that screw we don't want to crack the plastic tension back onto the screw and check them all while we're here and then we'll just simply reinstall the outer screen and test it again we'll show you that as we finish so now what we've done is we've put the surround back on again we've lined up each one of the screw holes these ones here the screw holes with those with those um, hexagonal retainers that hold the outer window in they line up directly with those so but don't over tighten these screws too much they, they will sit hard up against the post behind it but you don't want to over tighten and crack the plastic and once you've got all that nicely in place then just put the caps back in and test your window and make sure it's all working properly and if we have a look at that it's as smooth as silk all the way to the top nice and neat nice and tidy all our cables are lined up properly tension is nicely set and we can just simply put it back down again all the way to the bottom of course any of the operations of these blinds needs to be relatively gentle same as the one the screen we can bring the screen down and it closes nice and neatly if you're gentle with them they'll last for a long time and uh, just gently bring them back up again make sure the concertina all works and that my friends is a job done a little bit fiddly but technically very simple but um, a little bit fiddly especially getting the cable that uh, fishing line back in uh, through that channel but certainly uh, able to be done uh, at a cost of around twenty dollars for an entire 80 meters of the stuff of the um, fishing line and uh, and about an hour's worth of work just need to be a little bit patient and you'll uh, get through it uh, and it will save you having to buy the whole screen um, as uh, some folks um, suggest is the only solution and you can see from my repair here that it's uh, not the only solution thank you for watching and uh, hope this has been of assistance to you thank you